Hi, I'm Irene Tompkinson. I'm a therapist. I've been a therapist for 35 years. I also am an author. I have two books out. The first one was Not Like My Mother, Becoming a Sane Parent After Growing Up in a Crazy Family. I wish I had learned this stuff sooner. I learned it later after my kids were grown. Hopefully it'll save you some pain. The second one is I'll Take God, Hold the Religion. This is my story of separating God from religion. It took me a long time to do that so that I could have the kind of experience with God that I needed to have. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this little video is twofold. I want to invite you to like my author page, which is on Facebook. There, I would love to begin um, teaching people about finding the tada inside of them or reclaiming it. We all were born with it. I'm going to do that through journaling and through sharing so that others can share in the conversation how they find it. I have questions in the in the back chat in the end of each chapter in both of my books that we're going to be journaling on together. So it's a kind of spot where you can either come in and join the conversation or read what others have written or just do it periodically. It's not something you have to do every day, that's for sure. I have written my first piece that I would like to read to you to see if it shows you if there's something you can identify with. So this is some thoughts I have about being an adult. When I was young, very young, maybe 15 or 16, I was so impatient to be 21. It wasn't to be legal to drink or sign contracts. No, I was impatient to be 21 because I was sure it was the magic age when I would be imbued with all the answers to all the important questions that life could pose. Somehow the how-to manual of life must have been downloaded into your 21st birthday cake and poof, when you blew out the candles, you were before you were a mere adolescent and then zappo, you became an adult the age of majority. The law said so. Well, at 21, I was the mother of two and afraid to leave my violent husband because I didn't know how to register a car. The automobile registration dilemma was just one of a truckload of things that I feared. So no, 21 was not the age of answers for me. More than ever, it was the age of questions. By 23, I was divorced and struggling to find more answers like how to support my daughters and how to keep a roof over our heads. I had more questions than answers. Now, 50 years later, at 72, I'm still filled with questions, not the least of which is how did all these 50 years go by so quickly? I know they did. I can see the proof on my second husband David's face. Brown age marks and gray hair on his head and in his ears gives me the evidence. He sees the 50 years on my face and in my white hair. Today, we have no more answers than we ever did. But what we do have on a good day is acceptance and patience. Can I really say this? I think I can. What has happened is that now we have trust in the ride, the process. We've surrendered any idea that we're gonna find the manual that will give us any semblance of control over life. There is no permanent, perfect retirement plan or insurance policy or vitamin mix or exercise regime. The only guarantee is that life is temporary and it's moving constantly. What is permanent is the light, the life force that is in each one of us. It's in me, it's in you. It's our essence and it is eternal. It is the energy, the tada that we were born with. The flesh and bones, the car, the jobs, houses, bank accounts, they're all temporary. We can't nail down or control life, the material world, with anything in it. But we can, what we can do is accept life on life's terms, or we can keep kicking and screaming. Today at 72, I'm beyond the kicking and I'm really getting tired of the screaming. I'm focusing on making myself comfortable for the ride by listening to the still small voice and allowing it to be my guide, to trust my own process. Acceptance is the answer to my problems today. When I breathe and listen to my inner guide, I get all the guarantees I need. 
Blessings and Namaste.